Welcome back folks, I'm MTG Joe and we're going to be taking a break from the Oko Madness and play one of my uh, kind of pet decks from last season. It is the blue-white mid-range, blue-white blink uh, lumbering battlement deck. Um, so this deck here is basically looking to abuse lumbering battlements enter the battlefield effect. Sorry about that. <clears throat> So basically what we want to do is put a bunch of creatures underneath Lumbering Battlement um, and then either blink it or exile it with another Battlement or bounce it with Teferi and then get all the ETBs again. Sorry about that. So from here we're looking to draw a bunch of cards. If you can get three Battlements in a row you can exile them all and um, create an infinite loop. Uh, sorry, really weird. Uh, scratch my throat. Um, so from here, basically, if you establish the loop, you can mill them out with Apprentice. We can scry, exile, or gain life. Uh, Fibblethip and Cloudskin can draw us cards along with Guard Mage, Spark Double Copies, Detention, Exiles, Teferi Protects, Cavalier can blow up all their stuff, and then just leave them with Golems, so we can kind of combo like that. Uh, sideboard wise, just cleans up some of the matchups, some counters, some board wipes, some Gideons versus Control, and then uh, we can take it from there. So we'll run it through. Just going to do Unranked because I'm within the top 1200 right now. Got this event, so thought we'd play it. Uh, traditional standard. Where'd you go? Mid, mid. So we'll give it a play. Sorry about that. I was perfectly fine as soon as I started the stream. My throat decided now's the time we're gonna have a cough attack. So do let me know if there's any budget decks you'd like to see, any color combinations, anything like that. Um, originally the budget build series, people wanted me to do Team or Oko. I feel like people are probably sick of Oko right now. <clears throat> so if you prefer Gruel or anything like that, do let me know. Um, I can get those videos up uh, later this week. <clears throat> Tan's a little rough. Uh, we're short land. Opponents playing though, but Charming Prince can gain us some life or scry us into the land. <clears throat> okay, so we have Apprentice. I'm just gonna keep this for now. I'm gonna get a Plains probably, and then go from there. So this could be just mono black aggro with District as like board wipe insurance. Sure. Hey Quantum, how's it going? Been trying to get the stream up for like an hour. <clears throat> Couldn't get, uh, or not an hour, like half an hour. Stupid uh, antivirus, new one installed and then wouldn't let me get past the firewall. So here we'll mill the opponent. I uh, don't want either of these. So good thing we did have the scry. Nice, congrats. What were you playing? Um, probably can forego on that and just play Teferi. Yeah, this looks like mono black. Grixis fires, nice. Are you playing the the one that you combo win with uh, Plain White Celebration of the sideboard. Okay, so we draw our land. <clears throat> Opponent is stuck on mana, so we'll do that. <clears throat> Would like to hit a land. 
There was a four color fires list that we might play on stream. So we'll block here. <clears throat> um, it's basically the Grixis fires with. Uh... Are you kidding me? So I'm a little unfortunate here. Okay, so one of Mogwai's older ones. I like Fey a lot in those lists, mainly because I just want to be able to cast Assassin's Trophy in like all non-green decks, or not Assassin's, uh, Casualties of War. So they do have the pump here, uh, likely going to let that go through. Uh, you know what, I think we maybe block. In any case, they're probably spending the turn. We can have the loop going. Okay, so we have another Teferi. You could have upticked, but we're not going to have the mana anyways. Oh my god. We're literally like a land away from going off. So we could, at this point, effectively draw our entire deck and gain basically three life per loop. So we want to probably stop at a certain point. We can gain some advantage. Okay, so we got Deputy here. So I'm going to exile this because they still need to pay mana in tonight to kill Teferi, so that will take their whole turn. I'm really just trying to buy time. If they play either the, like the similar cards, I can just bounce a portal. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Gruul since the ban. It's one of the tougher matchups I find for Oko if they can get the Embercleave down and also because their stuff gets tokens. Um, that like Knight's deck is pretty easy. You can usually just stomp them. Yeah, so they spent their whole turn here. Uh, Apprentice. Hey, land. I don't think we want portal, so we'll just get rid of that. Hey, Mad Delic, thanks for stopping by. How's it going? So, we can block. I want to keep this out because we can set up the infinite mill. I think we just passed the turn. I could have blocked and then portaled. But again, if they just want to spend all their turn. Okay, so it looks like they're just going to pop the one. They're going to commit more to the board. Okay, so spawn's a little scary. So I'm actually going to do this now and just exile the spawn. So we got our land. We can start getting these battlemen. Awesome to hear. Thanks for. S We're gonna try to do some more budgets. Um, the season's been really weird. Like the new set L drains. It's before I could build like pretty competent decks with like four to eight rares, but everything's rare mythic in this set. So at this point, we're just going to let them attack in. 
I'll probably block this black lines. Let them pump the mana in, that's fine. I'm gonna get Lumbering Battlement going. Like even this deck, which is just like a random mid-range deck is still 32 rares. And it's not even a full set of duels because uh, we don't have the temples here. Okay, so they have spawn. I wanna try to get this out of the way. So let me just set this up. So Cavalier is good because I could take this down. I don't have a blink effect just yet. So I can go Cavalier, blow this up, and then Battlement on top. He's just gaining us three life each turn has been pretty useful. No blocks here. We lost the other blink effect in blue. Um, there's Teferi's Time Twist, but I don't like it because it only brings the creature back at end step. Uh, whereas Portal brings it right away. So you can do some cool, like, block shenanigans. The fact we got rid of both their rankles is also good. Uh, so let's just Cavalier here. This is a one of in the list. Not sure if opponent's just reading it here. You can have a 3-3. Three, three. How's that sound? So we'll just attack in here. Well, it's a pretty good exchange for the opponent. Wasn't expecting the rider there. So opponent could tack in. They are winning the race right now by one, but these battlements will start getting big. They get plus two, two, so it gets six, six. Okay, so that's kind of shitty. So we're probably dead here. Yeah. A little too late there. The back-to-back -back murderous riders hurt. Um, so this matchup, we can go the Vote Decree's good, the Realm Cloak, the Time Wipes I like. Uh, there is a play for Prison Realm, but it's a little slow. Uh, Spark Double could come out, Shave Down of Battlement. Um, Teferi's okay. Deputy is probably not the best. It's not the best blocker. Um, and then because when we have the board wipes in. So you know what? I might just get rid of Deputy in its entirety. Play the Lumbering Battlement. And then just a... Probably Glass Casket. Deals with the earlier... Th no, Prison Realm will deal with more stuff. Shave down a Teferi. Bring it up Prison Realm. Run it like that because we have these board wipes now um when you have the deputies it'll leave a creature behind so there's like time wipe with deputy where you can bounce back the deputy they get their creature back and then you time wipe 
Uh, this hand's a bit awkward. Like, we have a board wipe. We just get him to play into the board wipe. Like, they're likely the earliest they're going to do is... Turn three, spawn. Turn four, Oko. Or not Oko, just so used to saying Oko. And I always got it on one. Opponent did mall pretty low too, so I'm just going to get an island here. Um, just... Clear out our deck a bit more. Castle's a nice catch up mechanic for them. They did play Drill Bit though, so it might have been loose keeping the Realm Cloak. Yeah, so we're punished now. Loose Keep. This kid only exile creature we control. So we're still good with the time wipe. Not the worst to come down next turn. They can make these a little large now. My guess is they just pump one of them. Yeah. It optimizes the amount of damage they get in. Okay, so we got to fairy. So I'm just gonna go guard mage here. It gains us three life. I can battle mint next turn. So I'm not going to block because I want to be able to have this battlement trade with one of these. This is weaker if they have rankle. I'm just trying to draw into a board wipe here. Interesting. So they still get the token or the. Oh, they might have murderous rider. So here, what I'm actually going to do. Tack in. So I'm going to play this. They're forced to murder Strider now, but I'm going to portal. Okay, Black Lance Paragon. So we're just going to reset one of these. So they know about the portal. Um... Esper control could probably work. You probably have to go like the stacks version. I'm going to try playing um, more of a hard control. Um, the thing with stacks is it doesn't get like the Nisa tokens or the like Oko food tokens. I think if you just do heavy permission control, uh, like going back to the counter spell variants, you're probably okay. You need to play Mystical Dispute on the play, probably some Prison Realms. The problem is like Typically, Esper Controls had the benefit of, like, Othakaya being able to deal damage. But you're probably going to just play Murderous Riders. So that's fine. We'll do that. Okay, 
so they have the Reaper. I'm gonna try to find some more action here. Perfect. So I'll hit them for two. They're gonna have to draw a lot of cards. So the Midnight Reaper did come in pretty clutch for them. That refills their hand. Uh, so we'll just play this tapped. Uh, how's your how's the card draw in orders off control? That's my only kind of hesitation. I've played some versions with Ikaya in the past. Like all the good control pieces are there. I just get worried that you'd run out all your threats and then you're not really getting card advantage. Like I used to play Karn in it just to give me a pseudo card advantage. Like Liliana, I guess, is fine at the top end, but it's just getting to that mid stage. Because I figured it'd be like Duress, Othakaya, Kaya's Wrath, Murderous Rider, um, probably Akaya the Usurper, two Lilianas, and Ugin. Okay, so they go order. Next turn, I'm going to set up Elite Guard Mage. Um, so I could Prison Realm, but I'm not really too interested right now. I'd rather catch Spawn. So next turn. We can attack for four, put it under a Battlement. And then we can hold up Blink for Battlement. And then get the card draw again. So they probably take this battlements, my guess. Them going full price, kind of beneficial here. They got knight. Ah, oh, the doom foretold. Yeah. So I guess yeah, actually. Even just playing straight control, playing the food, because like the orbs give you some life gain elements to it. Uh, I think we just take the three here. Okay, so we got Cloudkin. Let's draw here. More lands is not ideal. I think we just try racing them. Uh, so I can Prison Realm, the Knight of Even Legion. But I think we just give it a turn. I'll block the Knight with Cloudkin. And then we're attacking, we have him on a two turn clock. I'm going to bounce the Guard Mage this turn just to gain some life and draw another card. So they'll have to put at least a pump in to save it. And then I do have these, so the flood isn't too bad because I can keep making one ones to block. Opponents taking their time. They're also getting to the life total where they can't um, castle. Yeah, so they got a little jumpy on that one, I think. Um, 
so let's attack in first. Let's go Cloudkin. Overwhelmed. Yeah, it's a cool card. I like the um, the effect that it has. Uh, I'm going to go Devote Decree, and I think that's fine, just to kind of clear up whatever they have left. Uh, so we need a, another... This is four mana to activate. Yeah, so we need another land out here. So we'll just pass turn. Um, there used to be another blue one that did the same thing. Um, two mana. It's just recycling all these Enter the Battlefield effects. So we've now had this guild mage enter the battlefield, I think, four times this game. So just throw blockers here. I'm doing this because I want to keep three flyers in the air. Um, so if they kill any of them, we're still presenting them lethal. Okay, took him out. So I think we run it the same. Um, that game... I think we go Glass Casket instead of these Prison Realms. It's just more mana efficient. And because they have the Drill Bit... Maybe a Deputy... Instead of a battlement, uh, no, we probably still keep. Battlement's just such a threat, and the fact that we can recycle. Like, at the worst, it's a 4-5 Vigilance, which, like, other than uh, Knight of Eben Legion, they can't really deal with. Like, they have the um, Foulmire Knight. So I'll run this through... We got three games here, and then I'll play like one or two best of one with it. Um, the sideboarding's not really like the, the core of the deck is playing. I want to try to get the combo out. We lost mirror image, which is uh, sorry, uh, Maddelic. Which uh, card were you asking about? So we'll keep this hand. We got card draw, and then we have Prince to blink it. Oh, a Lumbering Battlement. So what it does is when it enters the battlefield, you exile any number of other creatures you control. Uh, so it's like an Oblivion Ring style effect. It gets plus 2-2 two, two for each creature you exile that way. When it leaves the battlefield, you return to the bat all the creatures that were kind of underneath it. Um, so normally what you aim to do is with the Blink, you exile, you get all the creature enter the battlefields. Battlement comes back and then you get to redo all those effects again. So if you have multiple battlements out, if you get three of them out, um, you get to, oh, I got the wrong land. Uh, I meant to get an island. Um, that kind of screwed up things because I can't double spell. Um, so what you're able to do, okay, so bailed out is um, when you get three underneath each other, it creates an infinite loop of enter the battlefield effects. And then you're able to infinitely, with like Overwhelmed Apprentice, mill out your opponent. Um, I don't think we need either of these. That's fine. Like, if they're going to take their whole turn to Legion's End, then I'm not too concerned. We're going to gain this three life back with the Guard Mage, and we're going Guard Mage, Guard Mage, Prince. So if they take a Guard Mage here, Whenever it becomes target a spell, shuffle it into its owner's library. So I can't target it with the prince. Okay, so they take portal, so they make up our decision for us. 
It's really janky. Um, when it goes off, it's hilarious. Um, so I used to play a Jeskai version, so Splash Red, that um, with like Goblin Chain Whirler or Viyashino Pyromancer, you could burn your opponent out of the game. Um, so it's really you just try to f do something that's a reoccurring stack. So it's not like a combo where you get two cards, you instantly win. It takes like three cards. Uh, no blocks here. We would like to ideally draw something other than lands. Okay, so we got the battle mint. So I'll block this turn because I don't believe Fibblethip becomes the target of a spell. It's technically a spell on the stack. Can't remember with Fibblethip. It's been a while since I played with it under battle mint. We're also getting to the point where Prince can just bounce this. There's a couple ways you can also gain infinite life. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So we got a free attack here. And there's also a loop, so it's not infinite because it comes back at the end of your next end step, but each time Prince exiles Lumber and Battlement, we can then exile it again, um, so we can get the, that reoccursive value. And like at this point here, if they kill it, we gain three life and draw a card. So it comes out pretty even in that regard. So, see what the opponent does. Actually, that was probably a bad block. They likely have the... Oh, they just go Murderous Rider. That's fine. Uh, what's its name? The um, Black Knight pa Paragon. So let's draw a card here. Uh, let's go... This will thin out our library at this point. So let's do this now. Because I'm going to exile this. So we've drawn a lot of cards. That's the one good thing with this deck. <sighs> Apparently all we draw is islands. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. We've seen fourteen of our twenty-four lands. Um, no blocks here. Okay. <laughs> no, we are only seeing one, two, three, four. Probably gonna surveil this turn. Um, so I'm gonna double block here. They can only kill the Cloudkin.
wrecked. I think we need a board wipe. This gains us three life, draws us another card. Can probably buy us a turn. So that's a little rough. They get the other midnight. This offsets the life damage. Land. So this just slows them down. Okay, so we got that, which is nice. This is just, uh, if you want to see every land in our deck, we get to see, witness that all. So hopefully they get a little distracted by Teferi for the turn. If they don't, then I can set up an instant speed wrath. So I'm going to block both of them. Okay, so they're going both at Tess. It was a simpler time when Teferi was the only broken one. Okay, these both die anyways, it's fine. So we just need to dr dodge the drill bit this turn. Like the Midnight Reaper will refill their hand. That's fine. Commit more to the board. So we'll take a point of damage here. We can gain a lot of life in our deck. Actually, let me put a stop on our upkeep so I can scry. Let them declare their attackers. Nothing's incidentally a giant. I got burnt once before on that. So they do get to refill their hand. Having the Midnight Reaper out was the only unfortunate thing. Sure, which land do you want? This is like the fairest way I've played Teferi. He's just here, like most of the time I just bounce my own Lumbering Battlement. It's a little scary. So let's set up a scry. Cheese more lines. Um, I actually don't think it's that good right now. How many lines? I have three, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So not quite enough for the scry, so just plus the fairy here. Play out realm cloak. Play out apprentice. Just really get some blockers. Uh Battleman at this point is actually probably not the worst. It's a big body. And then I'm just going to keep the Castle Ardenvale. 
open for next turn, so I'm not going to scry. Put a stop just in case they do anything to clear my board. So the thing is, like, Teferi to Oko, like, Teferi doesn't win the game on its own. It just kind of slows down the game. Um, and it's like, Teferi's good at the minus one. I oh, sorry, the minus three. And then you got to wait. Like, he's done pretty much nothing for two turns. Um, and you, you can either cash him in this turn. So actually... What I may do here is to fairy bounce my realm cloak giant and then cast it as a board wipe. They can Aria sack something to draw some cards. Uh Okay, let's draw a battle net. So they have to block with two of these to be useful. I don't think they block. If they do, then it's advantageous for us. So we do lose to fairy. But at least we, uh, yeah, Reaper has uh, kept them in this game. So they can sack with Arya to draw two cards. They have taken quite a bit of damage from it. Thirty cards. All right, let's sacrifice again. Play out realm cloak. So that's like that's how we play to fairy. We reuse our realm cloak giants. Um, so let's scry here. Kind of tired of. Seeing lands. Um, again, just probably want some action. Instantly draw land, instantly draw land. Okay, so they're gonna trade. Yeah, I did uh, bring in one Devout Decree. The list has two Glass Caskets, one Devout Decree, which we have in here. Um, I'm just going to make one ones. If they're just going to flash in these Black Lance, then I'm okay. We got another one. So we'll see if they remember we have the castle. Okay, well they're playing a little risky with this. They got four castles that they can uh, gain some life. We just need some like, uh, I don't wanna see spawn here. See if they go in for the attack. Come on, don't pay attention. Don't pay attention. Oh, you didn't pay attention.
You didn't pay attention. So we're doing this to gain life. We need to find us a board wipe. Uh, glass caskets. Not what we want. Yeah, I usually like um, like lands that have some utility. Uh, especially in control, it's like a win condition. So in this case, we're more like mid rangey. The no value lumbering battlement. So this gets bigger, so we need to find an answer like this next turn. Opponent's getting aggressive. Okay. Well, scry me a river. Uh, Cloudkin doesn't do it. Lumbering Battlement creates a loop, but doesn't actually win the game. Uh, show me a land. Exactly what we wanted. All right. Well, Bona got us that time. So obviously that's a game of variance. You can't really do much. I'm just going to give Arena a quick restart. It's actually surprisingly cooperating today. Um, but... We'll give it a go. So, like, literally there, if we drew, um, what's its name? The four mana draw card game three would have put us up. Then we could have played another battlement and then started to get the loop going. We had infinite life in hand. Uh, so, for those who are just tuning in, the list we're playing is a blue white mid range blink list. Um, so, effectively, if you get three lumbering battlements in a row, they can create an infinite loop. You can gain infinite life, infinite card draw, blow up all your opponent's permanents. Um, draw your whole deck and then we could win with a, a mill plan. Uh, ways we can abuse the blink is Charming Prince and Portal. Um, and the rest are kind of support cards in the deck. Uh, that game we saw pretty much all our lands. So couldn't really do much. We will run it through one or two best of one games, see how it goes. That match went nearly 50 minutes. We will keep this hand. Mono red, the cavalcades. So probably go fibbles here. I don't mind if they uh, they kill Fibbles. Wow, you are not gonna attack? Do you have haste? Do you have haste? Um, let's just get this going. That could distract them. They're missing a line drop. Okay, so this makes this deputy a lot better. But uh, opponent didn't quite get what they needed there. So we'll call that a, a non-game. There wasn't much value to play out a deputy of detention there, really. And down ticking to fairy when they have two haste creatures, one of which can get pseudo unblockable isn't really the best. I'm surprised those mono red decks haven't been playing uh, Ginger Brute like the Cavalcade decks. 
Like, I know it doesn't turn on Torbran, but it's unblockable. All right, let's just Charming Prince loop. <laughs> sure. Let's see how charming our princes are. I've been seeing more the mono red deck that's um, with like the adventure gnome that gives plus two zero. All right, are we playing Oko? Show me Oko. So I think we're gonna set up the scry here. Wanna ideally find another land, which we do. Uh, probably been Fibblethip. This could be Gruel still. Yeah. Uh, so let's just gain a bunch of life. Ooh, okay, so we're getting Battlement going, which is nice. Yeah, like, um, so Gruul will usually play the Once Upon a Time as well. It really helps smooth out their draws. I'm going to take the damage here. If we don't draw land, I get the Fairy Bounce. I can also, I want to keep the portal ideally for Battlement. Okay, so we draw the land. So let's do some shenanigans. Let's do what I came to do. Here's my 10-11. So we could Charming Prince it, it comes back, we exile it, and then we could Judasire's Portal and then exile it again. So we could gain like, I believe the exact calculation is a metric shit ton. So they can block. So let's not get greedy here. So exile you. So gain three life, gain three life. Deputy's nice here. We can target the spell breakers. So exile these. Of note, don't exile your deputy of detentions. Here's my 1213. That is a cute questing beast. Uh, we can use another planes. Isn't it nice when Questing Beast looks absolutely useless? Uh, yeah, so it's when it leaves the battlefield. It doesn't say when it goes to graveyard. So what we can also do is um, we can block this questing beast and then blink it with the portal. So you put the block here, 
You exile this. Uh, first in, last out. Yeah, so we got the loop. We were basically just going to grind him out of value there. Uh, next turn, we would have just Guard Mage and Portal again um, to pretty much wrap it up like that. We'll run one more quick. Bring it to an hour. So yeah, do let me know if there's... Uh, any budget lists you'd like to see. Um, trying to play non-Oko, all I play in ranked is Oko, and it's quite boring, it's just very good. Uh, we'll keep this hand. The Apprentice can help us hit a land if need be, but we are just like super card draw here. Um, I don't actually. Teferi's not good against mono red. The prince gains us three life. Okay, so this cavalcade. Instantly regret binning that Teferi. So they can Chandra this turn. We take an extra point of damage. If they Chandra, we Deputy. If they don't, we go Cloudkin. I could also just Deputy these Cavalcades, which feels very good. Let's get him to commit to the board first. They're presently all set up. That's fine. Not the end of the world. Okay, so they got Chandra. Uh, no blocks, so I'm gonna still deputy the cavalcades and then try to kill Chandra. It's safer that way. Demir and Gruel. Yeah, I'll probably do a Gruel one first. I think the next budget build series will be Gruel. I like that Ember Cleave. I've yet to put an Ember Cleave on something, and I feel like I'm not playing Magic right without it. Uh, so I'm going to opt to not take a block here. I don't want this Deputy to die. Yeah, so they would have had this set up there. So don't really want to see more lands, so let's just go island here. So you can take out you. So, sorry about my dog. She's literally right under the desk here. So I have to pet her, otherwise she'll rumble like a car engine. So Battleman's pretty good, we can get this loop going now. Okay, so they spend a lot of resources here. They can make it unblockable. Oh, that seems wrong to me. You should have just gone one unblockable. All right, so here we got a big body. Uh, my dog's a miniature golden doodle. She's about 35 pounds, acts as though she is a 120 pound bull mastiff. But 
she usually chills either under the desk over here or right behind my chair and it's so I'm gonna try to dig for a land first this could block worst case against the banneret to fairy bounce as well as an option perfect So for the the fun way is bouncing my battlement, but like there's like no way they mono red could beat a 10 11. So they could block it this turn, they get one more turn to block, but it's pretty much it. Okay, they go scamping. Okay, well, it's a lot of damage. Yeah, still got him. So they almost snuck that in, actually. If we didn't bounce that, it would have been three more damage. Two, yeah, we would have been dead if... All right, so that's a deck. Actually wasn't a pile. Um, so I'll put this up on Aetherhub. You can catch the full video if you missed it any bit. Um, I'll come back with a Gruul budget deck. Um, and we'll get that series kicking off. I'm actually curious. I was like, ah, slow decay. I was... Uh, like 11.75 this morning when I checked. I was seeing if I could just hold off, but I'm going to have to play some games unranked. Um, thanks for tuning in, everyone. As always, you can catch all my content on my YouTube channel um, or any of my articles on Aetherhub. Appreciate all of you tuning in tonight or in the day, wherever you're at, and have a good one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good one.